This is really the birth of industrialization in America. And anything that's left that we can save and tell the story is so important. Looking at it now, it's hard to believe that four years ago, this building on the Flint River was left to rot. That it was meant to do GM Vice President Mark Royce, this could be considered General Motors' birthplace, where William Durant, along with Josiah Dort, built coaches like this that led to Buick and the modern General Motors. You look at the, the vehicle history here is, uh, is, is really incredible. You look at the, 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 the horse carriages and then the regular carriages, and then you look at some of the, the first Buick this year and one of the first Chevrolets. Um, boy, that's big time stuff. It's, it's emotional. It took four years to transform this facility into what they're calling Durant-Dort Factory One. Today's dedication held in the area that will become an event center. Now when the crews redesigned this building, they kept a number of the original touches like these bricks behind me, but they also added a lot of modern amenities. So what you'll have is a very modern meeting facility in this room. Right across the hall, a new home for Kettering University's archive, making it easier to do research on GM and the history of the auto industry. I think it's awesome that, uh, that this place has been revitalized so beautifully, and it's available to the community, and it means so much to the history of Flint. We can't walk away from our history because times have changed. This also serves as another tribute to William Durant, the father of GM. Well, you know, I, I think the most important thing is, is that people keep his legacy alive and realize the man he was and the loyalty and dedication he had to the people of Flint. The hope is long term that this building can be part of an overall revitalization of Flint. In Flint, I'm Autobeat reporter Jeff Gilbert.